down here, I've tried to kind of recreate the history of the bass guitar with all these different instruments I've become obsessed with. I've always been drawn to bass players that, aside from having great virtuosity, have interesting tone. The first bass player that I noticed the tone from was Jack Cassidy from Jefferson uh, Airplane. And I think he used to play an old Epiphone bass. Um, and it had twang, you know. Bass players weren't supposed to play with twang, right? Twang was saved for guitar players. And a lot of producers of rock music didn't want you to play with twang because they wanted you to stay away from the guitar zone. So basses had a very deep sound. Some of these in here cannot produce twang. They just work in the low tones. And that way they can control and separate. The guitar has its own space. Uh, the bass has its own space below. And I never liked that. There was a lot of personality in the sound. And I think that's what I was looking for. Stanley does not like loud music. When, <laughs> when I turn it up, oh yeah, he gets freaked out.